Like us on Facebook and stay up to date with what's going on in Michiana on the 574 and more. You're watching the 574 and more and joining us this morning is Carla Lynn from True <laughs> Color Photography. So nice. exciting that you're here today. Thank you. Because you're going to give us tips on how to look good in pictures, yes, right? Yes, yes. Okay, so let's start off with the first one and you say prepare. Yes. So one of the key elements to a great photo shoot is feeling confident. So knowing you love your outfits, you've either looked at your closet and tried them on and they fit. <laughs> right. Um, and having all of that taken care of the week before is so helpful. Mm -hmm. um, especially if you're going to be doing family photos, a lot of times matching and making sure everyone has the right piece um, can be very stressful if you're waiting to the last moment. So yeah. just having everything laid out and feeling prepared takes a lot of the anxiety away from the photo shoot preparation. Right, because mm -hmm. then the day of the photo shoot, you're not gonna be sweating or panicking or manic about your outfit. It's cool, yes. you've got it already picked out, right? And any mom will know there's yeah. gonna be something missing or <laughs> something somewhere else. So having it all collected and together uh -huh. gives you a sense of peace yeah. and calmness that morning. <laughs> okay, so when you're getting your picture taken, posture is very important. Correct, correct. So a lot of my favorite tips for photo shoots mm -hmm. are um, keeping your shoulders back, mm -hmm. tuck your stomach in, and yeah. a lot of times it feels unnatural, but it's only for a moment when you're having the picture taken, <laughs> and it makes a world of difference. Um, it shows up so nicely um, in the finished product. So mm -hmm. just keeping that in, and then I always like to say S-curve, so anytime you can tip, pivot your hips, or yeah. lean like this, it creates interesting lines. Right. And those are the images that people stop and take notice of. Yeah. Um, and then my last favorite tip, I think I was maybe like 16 reading it in a teen magazine, um, and I'm so glad I did, because just putting your tongue on the roof of your mouth when you smile, it makes a huge difference. So a smile without that looks like this, <laughs> and then as soon as you put your tongue on the roof of your mouth, it opens your eyes and keeps a softer, less tense looking smile. So it's more like this. <sighs> I don't know if that showed a difference, but if you struggle with the photos where your mm -hmm. eyes are scrunching, yeah. that takes care of everything. Put your tongue on the roof of yeah. your mouth. Yeah. Okay, that it's works. easy and simple, and it makes a world of difference in photos. Now, you said hair and makeup. Yes. Yes. <laughs> you would assume most people would do their hair and makeup before a photo yes. shoot, right? Yes. Well, you know, the thing that I've noticed is a lot of people don't, they think that photographers can go through and edit. And honestly, a professional edit for one photo could take up to three hours. Mm -hmm. um, if you're getting family photos, that's probably not what you're gonna be paying for. So taking the time and doing your own makeup beforehand mm -hmm. makes a world of difference. So yeah. um, you can get airbrush makeup, you can get, I, I, I usually work with professional makeup artists. Um, my co-stylist is Natalia, and she does airbrush, and she actually did my makeup today. Yeah. Um, but it makes a huge difference, and you go in with confidence, and if your hair is in place and curled by properly by a professional, mm -hmm. it lasts through the whole shoot. So you're not gonna be worrying right. about you know, it's sticking out crazy or static or anything like that. You will be prepared, and then the end product just yeah, much better. So much better. Yes. Okay, and you have uh, one last tip when you're taking family photos. Okay, so everyone that has a family understands that when your timelines and things, you're stressed out. So I like to prepare mm -hmm. for family photos by having little snacks that won't get the kids' outfits dirty. Right. Um, having those set aside, have little surprises or toys or incentives, and just stay lighthearted. And I know dads too deal with this, but for a mom, just be peaceful and let it go. Yeah. And smile at the camera and let the photographer worry about making sure your kid looks okay. good. Okay, all <laughs> yeah. good tips. Thanks, Thank Carla you. Lynn. Of course, you can find out more information online at truecolorphotography.com. And this is the 574 and more. <laughs>